All right, uh, so th today is our first um, kid craft with the palette full packs that we got uh, the other day, right, Rainbow? Right. All right, so can you say hi to the camera right here? Hi. Oh, Bridget's saying hi too. Here, come here. Hi. Bridget's here too. All right, so um, I went over, uh, I looked through the books that came in the, uh, the, uh, animation set the flip book set and it seems that this is the first book about perspective but i think we're going to do the perspective stuff next week okay so we're going to do this book are you excited mm -hmm. all right so what we're, we're going to do we're going to look at some of the information here now can you can you read some of that hello cartoonist and welcome to how to draw cartoon animation. In this book, you will learn how to bring your own cartoon characters to life using animation. Remember, this book is meant to be drawn in. So grab your general pencils and follow along. All right, turn the page. All right, let's bring it up a little bit so that it's in the camera, okay? So. Remember all those cartoons we drew in the first three books? Now we're going to learn how to animate them. Animators do this by drawing a number of pixels that gives them an illusion of movement. This was the first object I learned to animate when I went to school for animation. So what is this? The bouncing ball. Okay, so you see how it, it sh it's showing all the movements of the ball here? Mm -hmm. Now, you see that what when it's up top, it's like a, um, it's, it's a perfect circle, right? right. But um, as it goes this way, it stretches out a little bit, and then it stretches out even more. And then at the bottom, look at this, it flattens out. You see that, how it's not a circle anymore? And it's not a circle here, it's an oval? Mm -hmm. Bridget, sit down. <laughs> All right, so that's how they showed the movement because when it hits the ground like this, Rainbow, mm -hmm. when it hits the ground like this, um, it squishes down because of the gravity, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so can you read right there? This ball looks like it's bouncing because of squaws and struts. A cartoon character will need well, well, stretch when the expression of movement needs to be accurate. Exaggerated. Exaggerated. Yeah, exaggerated. A squash poses that action or an type Ante anticipation. Good job. Before the character goes to the stretch. So you see how he is squashed down, and he is stretched, right? Because here these he's going down to the ground, and here he's even off the ground. He's stretching up, jumping up, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so here's our first activity. And Bridget, you can go ahead and do this on a separate piece of paper. I, got, I grabbed a couple pieces of paper here. You can use this pencil, Bridget. There you go. I'll and use this one. So, what what did you have to do? Draw these three objects, washing and stretching. How about a triangle? If it's squashed, it's going to be shorter and fatter. Shorter and fatter. There you go. Now stretch, it's taller and skinnier. Tall, much taller. Because stretching makes it taller and skinny. And squashing makes it short and fat. Okay? So up. Very skinny, very skinny. There you go, good job. All right, you can do that, Bridget. You can draw all you want. 
Now, draw these two char cartoon characters, squashing and stretching. Do you think you can draw that squashing being short? Remember how um, it, when we looked at the person, he bent his knees. See how he's squashed? And he bent his arms. And bent his arms, and he was lower and wider, right? Good job. You don't have to do this one. Um, you got the idea. You can do that one later. Yeah, how about... No. All right, so now we're going to start learning how to do it in our flip books. So can you start reading? Along with this animation book are, are blank flip books, which we will use to animate our cartoons. The flip books look like this. The first thing we need to do is open our flip book to the very last page. So, we actually have seven of these because six came in this and one came in the, the kit. So, uh, you and your brother and sister will each have two from here and I'll get this one. Does that sound cool? And I will Does that sound cool? So, first, I'm going to show you on mine first, okay? Let me okay. see. First... It wants you draw to do a, a squashed, squashed circle. circle. So I'm going to draw a squashed circle like that. And then, hold on, it wants you to go to the next page. And you see how you can see the circle? Now it wants you to do a... Um, stretched circle. Now, all right, so here's the squashed circle. I can barely see it. Yep. So stretched. Then so you can do this back and forth. Now you can try yours. Squash, stretch, squash, stretch, squash, stretch. So, let me check to see how this goes. See the wings flapping? <laughs> Did you see the? So one thing we can. We were going to flap. Now one thing we can do that's a little bit different, and we'll just do it with a circle, so it's easier. Uh, I'm gonna skip two pages because I'm gonna do my butterfly too. Because I only did two butterflies. All right. So one thing we can do, we can mimic this the bouncing ball that we saw over here okay so we don't draw all this in one but you see how they overlap i'm going to start with a squashed ball right here slightly stretched Hello. out here but overlapping or really stretched out there and then the next one a little bit stretched out but an overlapping and then the next one, a circle overlapping that one. And then the next one, you see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. The next one, a can little I bit stretched. Can I join? And then really stretched. 
and then flattened out. Can I join again? Now, let's see how that turned out. face butterfly flapping all right here comes the ball look at that isn't that cool uh -huh. wow you're getting good at animation so if you want you can look through the rest of this book and if you want to oh, see how the, they did the same thing with the butterfly they had it moving a little bit see flap up flap down and as it's moving they did the same thing with the ball. So there you go. And here we got putting the smi putting smiley faces and arms and legs on the ball. Oh, you see how it's squashed down like that? So right now you can go through the book and if you want to do more exercise in your thing, you can do that. Okay. And once you're completely done and you want to permanent make it permanent, we can go over it with this. is you know because we're using it this way like this um you could flip it around like Rian and see how uh, we're, we're using it this way you can flip it upside down and go on the other side and use the other side too so you can use both sides so it's almost like having four books instead of two Look at that moving ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. ball. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Ready? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Then I can have it go I can have it go backwards too. <laughs> and see how watch the ball is moving the other way this way. <laughs> You having fun with this? Mm -hmm. You can do it backwards and there. Oh, cool. <laughs> it goes the same way. Up, down. <laughs> um, you do have an extra one. Uh, I think we'll save this next one for next week because Ooh. we're going to use the perspective lesson for next week. And we might do something interesting for the flip book next week, okay? Okay. So you can go ahead and fill fill that out. Did you have fun? Yep. Look at that ball. Now, let's skip the rest of the ball. And let's go back to the 
So it can go either like Kate's waving to his mom for a goodbye, uh -huh. or he's waving to his mom because he's inside. Oh, cool. That's really cool. And that's an animated flip book. Cool. Did you have a lot of fun? Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you excited for next week when we will do mm -hmm. perspective? Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and read through this book before um, next week if you want, okay? Okay. All right, say bye-bye. Bye-bye.